Hello, my name is Yonis Dijol and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a Microsoft Access form and how to actually customize this form. First of all, we have to open Microsoft Access, our database, then open uh, one of your tables, select the Create tab, and then select the Form option. The form now has been created. I'm going to select the design view option and then I'm going to increase the size of my form by clicking and dragging. The header is unnecessary so I'm going to select the picture section and press the delete key on my keyboard and then the text and then again the delete key on my keyboard. I'm going to re reduce the height of the header. I am now going to highlight by clicking and dragging all the field names including the labels and then I'm going to select the range tab select group and then select on group now by clicking and dragging to highlight all the labels I'm going to select the delete key on my keyboard then I'm going to highlight all the field names and reduce the width by clicking and dragging Next, I'm going back to the Design tab, select the Image icon, and I'm going to draw a picture bo box. I'm going to locate my picture. Now the picture is displayed above the field names, so my field names are behind. So what I need to do is right click on the picture, select position and then send to back. I'm going to place my picture to the right location, to the location that I want. I'm going to increase the size. As you increase the size of the box, you will be able to see that the picture will get bigger as well. I will then deselect the picture by clicking anywhere on the white area and select and drag its field to the correct position. You can increase the width of its field name to cover the whole width of the actual design. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to place the field names in the, posi in the, loca in the position you're happy with. Next, what we need to do is by selecting the, whole, the shift key down, by pressing the shift key down on the keyboard and by selecting all the field names we'll be able to open the properties panel and change the back style to transparent and the border color sorry the border style to transparent as well as you can see my background is black and my text is black so what I need to do go to the four color and change the black for color to something brighter, say for instance white. You will not be able to see any results until you actually deselect this section. So if I click here once, I'll be able to see the results. Now I'm going to be able to check uh, my design in a form view. As you can see, the information is there. As I click through, the background changed to white and as my text color is white I will not be able to see the results when the field is selected. A way to overcome this issue is by going to the design view we have all the field names selected again I'm gonna select on the border sorry back color 
I'm going to drop down the list and select highlight it. The color will change to orange. In this case, you know what I need. What I need to do is go back to the back style again and select transparent. So now if I go back to the form view, the orange color will be displayed only when the section is being highlighted or selected. This is how you create in a form and this is how you apply a design into a form. In the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to apply buttons, how to make these buttons of the picture active. Thank you for watching.